Hey there! A custom font can make your coding experience more comfortable and even improve readability. That's why in this video, I will show you how to install and set up a custom font in VS Code. Before we begin, I would like to thank everyone who supports this channel, especially the 2100 subscribers. Your support helps me continue creating straight to the point tutorials. Alright, let's dive in. The first step is to download the font you want to use. You can find many great options at Google Fonts, but uh, for this tutorial, I'll be using the JetBrains Mono. It's a font designed specifically for developers. Click the Download Font button and unzip the archive. In my case, I'm using Windows and it's pretty straightforward to install a font. I select all the .ttf files, right click, and then install. If you are using macOS or Linux, I've also written a step-by-step -step guide where I explain how to install the fonts. You'll find the link to the article in the description of this video. Now, let's configure VS Code to use a new font. Open the command palette by pressing down Control shift p or Command shift p on macOS. And then search for Preferences Open User Settings JSON to open the Settings JSON file. And now to tell VS Code to use uh, the custom font, we can use the editor.fontFamily setting. And then we set the value to JetBrains Mono. And make sure you uh, wrap JetBrains Mono in single quotes. Save the file and let's do a diff. I'm going to comment out the font family so you can see the difference. All right. In my case, the font also supports ligatures. So let's go ahead and enable them. Editor dot font ligatures and let's set the value to true. Save the file and pay attention to the syntax. And as you can see, we have some nice ligatures from the JetBrains Mono font. Another thing is that uh, my personal preference is to use JetBrains Mono font with a line height of 1.7. I'm going to comment this out so you can see a default line height. In my opinion, it doesn't look that great. So that's why I'm using this setting. So if you use other fonts, I recommend playing around with the line height, line spacing, and font size until you find what works best for you. And that's it. You have successfully set up a custom font in VS Code. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out the other tutorials on this channel. Wishing you a wonderful day, and I look forward to catching you in the next one.